Explanation of symbols on worksheets are as follows. Use coloring crayons to color the picture. Use your finger to follow the track or line or show the correct picture. Use a coloring crayon to draw a line or write a number or sound. Look at the picture and say the number or sound out loud. Use a scissors to cut on the dotted line. Look at the picture. Use these symbols for the lesson of the day, which will be allocated at the top right side of each page. For example, lesson one, prepositions and directions. Hello everyone and welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week has been travel. Before we get into today's lesson, we would like to sanitize our hands. Remember, sanitizer is very important, not just only for you, but for everyone around you. And when you sanitize, make sure that you dry your hands after. Also check your social distancing next to you and in front of you. Well done. Our lesson today is about road signs. Let's turn to page 19. On page 19, we can see our first road sign. On this road sign, we can see that there is something that looks like two people who are walking. This road sign is called a pedestrian sign. Now, a pedestrian sign is there to help not only the people around the road, but also the drivers as well. It warns the drivers and the people that this is a place with a lot of people, so they must look out for anyone who is trying to cross the road. The pedestrian sign can be found in all sorts of places, especially around schools or in a community where there is a lot of people. Pedestrian signs are normally in the color of white and red. So my children, I'd like you to please color this sign white and red. Remember a pedestrian sign is there to also protect you so that the cars cannot go too fast and they slow down to help you cross the road if you need to. Let's take a look at our next sign on page 20. On page 20, we have an upside down triangle. It is different from the pedestrian sign that we saw on page 19. Here on page 20, our upside down triangle has a word on it. That word is yield. Now the word yield on this road sign is to say that you must give way or you must let the person who is crossing your road go first. This is so that they can help you cross the road safely. If the person on the other side is not there or there's no cars or there's no one, then you can cross. This sign is very important. And normally when people are traveling, they slow down when they see the yield sign so that they'll be able to follow the rule. The yield sign is also in red and white. I'd like you to please color the sign red and white. Make sure that when you are coloring, you are inside the lines as well, so that you can make it very clear. Let's move on to page 21. Page 21 is showing our last road sign for today. Now this one is very simple because we always see it everywhere. This road sign is the stop sign. 
and the stop sign can help us not to un not only to understand when we should go but also when we should be careful a stop sign can be found on the roads and it's also found especially close to where roads meet so if two roads are going to cross one of the stop signs will tell the driver or the person walking that they must stop if the person does not stop then there can be an accident so it is very very important to obey the stop sign so next time that you're traveling either on a bike or in a car or in a van you must make sure that when you do see the sign you must stop the stop sign is also in red and white i would like you to please not only color it but after you are done coloring it you must cut it out so that you can actually stick it somewhere else please make sure that when you do this exercise you are having an adult with you so that they can help you cut out the road sign this is the last exercise for our lesson today I've enjoyed my time with you this week and I've enjoyed talking about travel. I hope you have learned and that you're going to listen to all the road signs that we have been talking about. Before we go, we must definitely sanitize our hands. Remember, when we sanitize our hands, we are protecting ourselves from all the germs that can get into our bodies. And we must make sure that we dry our hands before we touch anything else. It's also very important to check your social distancing by putting your hands by your side and in front of you as well. Well done. I wonder, did Zoe come back from her long trip? Let me check. Zoe? Oh, there she is. I hope you enjoyed your journey, Zoe. So from Zoe and I, we would like to say goodbye.